What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Ghost of Shishima. And today I want to kind of do a combat guide. The video that you're going to see in the background, the gameplay, uh, I do some things well and I do some things really, really bad at times. And that's kind of the reason I wanted to upload this particular video is because not everybody's perfect with this. It's all about kind of learning and timing and that kind of stuff. But um, everybody can kind of learn still. I mean, the game is new. Uh, it's going to take some time to get the hang of combat and all of the mechanics. But the first thing, of course, is learning to time your parry. Uh, that is one of the hardest things, I think, to begin with in-game, is timing that correctly. There's a few ways that you can kind of help out uh, w w with that timing. Of course, you could pull out your bow and use your uh, stop time if you do have that ability where it slows the time down and then swap back to your sword. That will still be up for just a second. You can time it a little bit better that way because it will put the enemies in slow motion. Uh, another way you can do it is get the charm that is in Spring Falls. This gives wider uh, wider timing for parries and dodging. So if you do not have that, I think it's the Mizu uh, uh, charm. I'm not quite sure if I pronounced that correctly, but that charm, like I said, is in Spring Falls and it will give wider timing for parries and dodging. I'm going to try to make a guide for all of these uh, charms at some point. I don't have the ability to unlock them all yet because I haven't made it all the way across the map. I'm still just running around and exploring. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm really bad right now at doing a lot of the story. I've just been having a good time running around and exploring. Another thing I think you can do uh, when it comes to combat that does help out a lot is learning to chain your abilities. Now this is going to depend on what abilities you have unlocked and equipped, but you can chain a lot of stuff together. Uh, a lot of your abilities can be, you know, kind of comboed. So whatever you're using, you know, whether it be smoke bombs or whatever the case may be, you can time those things along with some of the other abilities you have unlocked. So, you know, any of your fighting mechanic abilities you have unlocked, time those together with the abilities that you're using, and that will help out a lot once you have kind of got, the, like I said to begin with, you, you got your parry timing down, and you start to combine these combos with that. It works really, really well in combat, and you can defeat multiple enemies very quickly. I think one of the main things is, uh, it, with combat is learning the stances. Of course, there's four different stances. The stone stance is for sword-bearing enemies. Uh, the water stance is for sword and shield-bearing enemies. The wind stance is for spear-bearing enemies. And, of course, last but not least, the moon stance is for brutes. Now, one thing, in case you have not unlocked the wind stance yet, it does have the option to kick, and it's pretty much unblockable. So that one is pretty handy from everything that I have understood about it. I have not unlocked it myself yet, but everything that I have read about it and seen about it that block is pretty nice. And as you can see, I threw my smoke bomb way at the wrong time right there. That was a bad idea trying to uh, uh, eliminate some of these enemies. Didn't get a single kill off of it, but just kind of learning as I go here. But like I said, those stances are very key in my opinion. Learning to swap stances quickly on the fly. Of course, it is very easy to do. When you hit your trigger, you know, it slows down the time so you can swap stances. But make sure you're swapping stances for each enemy you fight. It makes defeating these enemies a lot easier in my opinion. Uh, some other things that you needed to keep in mind while fighting is keeping your resolve full. Now, there's no way in game that I have found yet. There could be. I don't think there is. There's no way like of any kind of, you know, potion or anything like that that I have seen or heard of or anything you can eat. There's not really anything in game that's like that. You're like some other open world style games. There's no way to keep your resolve up um, besides finishing off fleeing or scared enemies of course standoff kills will fill it the fastest that's the fastest way to fill up your uh resolve so make sure that you're doing standoffs and you're winning those standoffs and it will like i say that will be the fastest way that you can uh, fill up that bar and last but not least make sure that you're always jumping roll dodging uh rolling when you un start unlocking skills a little bit longer a little bit longer of the time that you have played you will unlock a lot of different stuff You'll have the ability to, you know, roll out of the way. You'll have the ability to roll and then attack. You'll have the real ability to dodge and attack. Make sure you're doing all of this stuff. But like I said, keep keep jumping in your mind as well because jumping can also throw off enemies. Make sure you're closing the gap quickly when you're find, fighting against arrow enemies because those are the ones, in my opinion, in combat that you need to take out the earliest. Get rid of the arrow enemies because they are absolutely a pain, in my opinion. Anyway, guys. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. If you have any other combat tips or combat things that you want to talk about, of course, you can leave it down in the comment section below. If you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate on the channel. They sell pretty much anything you need for your gaming needs. Their information is linked down in the description. 
And also, the community Discord is linked in the description as well if you would like to join that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.